In the Kaaba, a radiant being appeared, causing a stir all around. Allahu Akbar. Peace be upon you, viewers. Near the black stone in the Kaaba, a being was seen whose radiant light made people's eyes dazzle. They began to think that it might not be a human, but an angel walking among them. Some pilgrims even declared it to be a sign of the Day of Judgment. Miracles like this have been happening in the Kaaba. But what was the truth? Who was that radiant being standing with raised hands in prayer? Was it an angel or someone else? We will reveal the whole truth in this video. Be sure to watch until the end. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell icon before we start discussing this incident so you stay informed about new videos. Yes, friends, millions of visitors were gathered in the Kaaba for Umrah. All eyes were focused on the Kaaba. Everyone was present there with many wishes in their hearts when suddenly something happened that left the visitors astonished. Many were performing the tawaf after offering the Asr prayer in congregation when among them a person appeared. This person was slowly walking towards the Kaaba. People did not pay attention, but his face was so white that they couldn't take their eyes off him. For a moment, those who saw him were left in awe. Who was this person with such a radiant face? He appeared to be an elderly man, lost in his thoughts, raising God's name as he performed the tawaf around the Kaaba. Wherever he passed, people kept turning back to look at him. Some even became like statues, thinking he might be an angel because the radiance coming from his face was visible. He was so fair-skinned that onlookers' eyes were dazzled. At first sight, people believed he was some other radiant being, but gradually they realized he was not a supernatural being, but an ordinary human, yet extremely pious and noble. There was such an aura of light surrounding his being. Many people wanted to meet him, to speak with him face to face, but no one had the courage to address him. Who was this righteous servant of God who seemed just like an angel? People were seemingly soothing their eyes by merely seeing his face. Friends, at that moment, one person stepped forward. When the elderly man had completed his prayers, that person approached him with great respect, greeted him and began to speak. The elderly man replied in a sweet tone, smiling gently while answering each question with great softness. Many people formed a crowd around him. Everyone wanted to catch a glimpse. There was only one question in everyone's heart. Who is this person? Some even asked if he was a human or something else. How could a person in today's era be so righteous that God blessed him with such light? Perhaps he was indeed a very pious man. It seemed he might be a great scholar or a memorizer of the Quran, or perhaps someone who spends his days and nights entirely in worship. To be so pious, that's why God kept his face so radiant, making onlookers envious of his destiny. When people asked him about this, he said, I am a sinner. I have everything given by God. Who knows how many sins I have committed in my life, yet he has honored me with this. I am not a strict five-time prayer performer, but a lowly servant. Sometimes my health becomes so poor that I even miss prayers. I don't know why you all see me as a very pious and devout person. People asked him, then what is that deed which makes you appear so radiant? The elderly man chuckled and said, I have only earned one good deed that has guaranteed my place in paradise. People's curiosity grew about what that good deed was. Everyone gathered under the shade of a tree and the elderly man, seeing people so captivated, blushed with slight hesitation. But when they insisted, he began to speak. My brothers, I was an ordinary person just like you extremely sinful, careless, and somewhat despairing. I lost my job, my parents, my dear relatives, and even my child, who left this world. After facing such hardships, I was completely disillusioned with God. I began to complain to Him, asking why such things happened to me when I never wished harm upon anyone. But I did not let evil thoughts take root in my heart. One day, while walking on the road, I heard the cry of a newborn, it was a very dark place. Despondently, I reached the edge of the road and the sound became louder. I couldn't bear to see a child in pain, so I lit a light to look around, and I felt movement in the trash. My body shuddered. There, in the trash, I found a newborn child covered in filth, perhaps someone's illegitimate child discarded to hide their sin. When I saw that child, I hugged him and cried for a long time. 
who knows how cruel those people were. Since then, I took responsibility for raising the child. Later, I even got a job, perhaps due to the blessing of that child. A few days later, I found another baby girl abandoned in a drain with little chance of survival, but I treated her, and she survived. Gradually, I gathered 13 children. I didn't steal them, they weren't mine, but I found them discarded in trash bins. Every morning, after the Fajr prayer, I would leave the house praying that if a child was abandoned or separated from their parents, God would lead me to them. This way, I cared for many children. I gave them both a mother's and father's love. I raised them and not only provided for them, but also gave them both religious and worldly education, made them memorizers of the Quran, and today they are teaching in large Islamic schools. This is my only good deed. I started this work 25 years ago, and today I have my own center, where I teach many children and raise them as their father. This is my good deed. I made them memorizers of the Quran, not just giving them worldly knowledge but religious education too, and today they are my pride. Tears welled up in the elderly man's eyes as he shared this. Those listening also began to admire his fortune and prayed for him. Indeed, people like him are rare in this world. He made all the children memorizers of the Quran. The Quran was safe in their hearts. What greater blessing could there be? We received countless prayers from that elderly man and prayed for him too. After all, he had become the support for so many children. We pray to God to guide us towards good deeds as well. Amin, O Lord of the worlds.